An Egyptian court ordered former President Hosni Mubarak's transfer back to prison Wednesday, just days after he was released on the murders of hundreds of protesters in 2011. After Mubarak spent the maximum legal time of two years in custody without conviction, an Egyptian court ruled for his release Monday, but he remained in detention for fraud charges. And Mubarak will still be judged for complicity in hundreds of murders during protests back in 2011, which ousted him from three decades of military rule. He has yet to be convicted on those charges. Mubarak filed an appeal after he was found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. The retrial was meant to begin last weekend, but a court technicality prompted a delay. The technicality was the presiding judge exiting the room minutes after the retrial had started, on the ground he would possibly face a conflict of interest during the procedure. In a critical piece in al Arabi, an Egyptian professor from the American University of Cairo writes, the presiding judge for the retrial was one who had only a few months ago found a batch of Mubarak era officials not guilty. The judge no doubt sensitive to dealing not with Mubarak's underlings, but with the man himself quickly ended the session. The retrial was also marked by Mubarak's insurance. Held until now in a military hospital, he appeared in good health, smiling and waving to his supporters, which raised calls for his re-imprisonment. Which a public prosecutor did Wednesday after reviewing a report on Mubarak's health. Aram Online reports, on Saturday, Egyptian Prosecutor General Tala Abdullah requested Mubarak's transfer, health permitting, back to Torah Prison Hospital. On Tuesday, Mubarak was assessed by a medical committee to see if the requested transfer was viable. But local newspaper, the Egypt Independent, reports some of Mubarak's supporters staged a sit-in Wednesday in front of the hospital to protest his imprisonment. And one supporter doused himself in gasoline and threatened to set himself on fire if the former president was moved. An Egyptian court also announced Wednesday the new retrial should start May 11th. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Landris. Multiple sources, a broader view.